When you first place your clay on the wheel head, try to keep it as centered as possible following the concentric circles. Punch it down to secure it, making sure that it really sticks onto the wheel head. Using two hands to tap and turn to keep the round form, and that will save you a lot of trouble later. Now we're going to close up the seams by taking a finger and smearing it so that water does not seep under the mound. The first thing you're going to do after putting a bunch of water on there is introduce yourself. Use two hands and you're going to apply a slight downward pressure so that it really sticks onto the wheel head. Don't think about making it perfect, just think about introducing yourself, getting a feel for the clay. Before we begin to cone, we just want to lift up our mound just a little bit so it's easier for us to grip and we're going to take a sponge and keep that bottom clear. When you're coning, just focus on the palms of your hands. The palms of your hands on either side, squeezing that clay together and bringing it up slowly, rising up and then taper it at the top. Let's give it another go, squeezing at the bottom where it's thick, traveling up, moving the clay up, kind of like a cylindrical shape. It's like a cylindrical cone. And here we go down. And I'm just showing you with one hand a cross-section view but of course you'd be using two hands. And notice that I don't hit the bottom of the wheel head just yet. See, there's a little bit of a space there. It's hovering above the wheel head because I hate watching people drag their skin on the wheel head. I'm just gonna slightly soften the shape here and lower it, but let's mess this up, all right? It's a hot mess express. We really have to understand the principles of centering. So get your one arm braced in, your elbow braced into, into your leg, and using the heel of the hand, we are going to press into the center of the mound. Imagine that there's an invisible metal rod that lives in the middle of the mound, and it can take it, honey. You're just gonna keep pressing, and it's not going anywhere. Basically, imagine that you are trying to force all of the clay into one middle point that lives in the middle of the mound. Taking the sponge, keeping it clear, and the base of your hand, the heel of your hand that's very strong, is traveling up the hill, and then it comes over to press back down. Now I wiped my hand clean so you can see where the clay is touching my skin, and those are the muscles that I'm using. Those are the parts of my hand that are actually engaging. It's the side of the hand, and then now the thumb coming over the top. And learn when to let go. If it's centered, walk away. And you can see which part of my hand actually engaged with the mound. The base, that's what's pushing in, the thumb over the top. So watch, engaging, pushing in with the heel of the hand, and then thumb over the top. The fingers, that's what's holding the side, thumb on the top. Just practice, using the one arm to practice. Up the hill, and then pressing down from the top. 